Cartron House. Cartron House lies at the epicentre of the modern parish of Ballinacill. Difficult to treat it in isolation because its construction began in an era when landlordism was rife in Ireland. Three impressive houses were built at the close of the 18th century, each constructed for a special accord. The era of collecting rents had begun, hence Carrow was built. Tartan was signed to be a police barracks, whilst Marble Hill in Gorchina Kuboya was destined for farming classification. The birth of Marble Hill controlled and directed management and business for all three. First on my list is John Burke, 1713 to 1793, an astute businessman, accumulating a fortune, selling meat and provisions during the American War of Independence. During his reign, the three above mentioned Carrero, Carton, and Marble Hill were built. Having discussed Carrero and Marble Hill, we now turn to Carton House, located about 200 paces west of Bandekill Church. To the east, the market town of Port Amna on the banks of the Shannon, and the west, the historic village of Derry Brine, whilst Loch Ray due north, a journey of 11 miles. To the south, the rugged peaks of Shlibachli, featuring Shlibanoor, the Golden Mountain, and the lakelet of Lachatorik. Carlton House is conveniently situated on the southern side of the Gort Pertamna main thoroughfare. Carlton House has a long and varied history. Built by Thomas Burke in 1770, during the year of construction, plans for the building of Marble Hill House were mooted. The site chosen lay in the Marble Hill, now known as Gorchin Nakapoya. As this took a long process, the Burke family lived in Tartan House until completion of Marble Hill in 1775. As regards titles, for the three modern family homes, they were adopted from the recognised postal villages. Similarly, Carrero House acquired the name from the townland of Carrero, and Carton House from the village of Carton. The new homesteads now became of outstanding importance to the landlords of Marble Hill. Carrero House became the centre of rent collecting, while Carton House was chosen as the homestead of the state manager. In 1856, a large new wing was added, and for the following two years, was used as a police barracks. Carton House retained a wealth of its original character and style, reflecting a vision and informality of atmosphere. The house itself is a detached five-bay, two-story building with lower multiple bays. On the upper story, an altar had been located where the Van Kiel Parish priest celebrated Mass at station times or when the parish church was unavailable. Carton House became the home of another Burke family in the 1920s. A most popular and sporting family, they involved themselves in the life and activities of the parish. They became members of the Balnakeel Hurling Club and later with the modern Tommy Larkins teams. There were seven family members. Eva, who played host to many, many visitors, and then six brothers, namely Morris, Redmond, Blake, Henry, Walter, and Ignatius. 
some members emigrated to England, taking with them happy memories of youthful days in Ireland. Now back to Carton House. Undoubtedly, it retains a wealth of its original character and style, reflecting the warmth and informality of the atmosphere you will experience during your stay with the present owners, Mr. and Mrs. Gardner. Nestling in the lush Colby countryside, there are spacious manicured lawns and fertile fields surrounding the house which accentuates the air of rural serenity the Tarkin House offers. Visitors are offered real flexibility and choice in terms of menu, meal times and punctuality and caters for requirements of each individual. In this rural setting, you will enjoy the peace, serenity and tranquility of Carton House.